Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a requested video from, if I remember, it was Ruchi34, I think, hopefully that was right. So um, she requested for me to do a makeup a starter kit, a makeup starter kit for beginners. So that is the video that I'm going to be doing for you guys. And if you do have any other video requests, feel free to comment that down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm just going to get straight into this video because hopefully I don't want it to be too long. I say this and then it's like 10 minutes long. So I'm just going to get straight into it. So by no means am I a makeup artist or a professional or just anything like that. I just... I like makeup a lot I wear it and so I feel like I have gained a lot of knowledge um, but that's not to say that I'm like a professional and that you have to use these products because you have to use them <laughs> it's just a kind of um, tips and I'm just gonna be recommending products to you guys and you guys can choose what you do with that information so um, just to clear that up because I'm not a profesh Okay, so if you're new to makeup, you need to figure out what skin type you have. Do you have normal? Do you have dry? Do you have oily? Do you have combination? What skin type do you have? And then from there, you can figure out what products work for you. So the products that I'm going to be talking about are mainly for oily skin or like combination to oily skin because that's the skin that I have. So basically, that's the products that I have. But I will... Um, maybe here and there kind of add in a few products which I think may be good for dry or normal skin but the focal point will be oily skin because that's the skin type I have and so therefore those are the products I have which is catered for oily skin. Um, okay, so you wanna start off obviously with a primer which helps ensure that your makeup lasts a lot longer um, and just generally helps with the longevity of your foundation and it kind of provides a canvas for your foundation. Um, and I love using primer. I think it's an essential piece. A lot of people assume that they don't need it, but I find that if you do use it, you will see a change in your foundation, especially if you use the right primer for you. Um, so unfortunately, I actually, I do own drugstore primers, but I don't own any that I would ever recommend to you guys. Um, I just don't think they're amazing and I don't think they do anything for my skin. But um, I have heard that the Maybelline baby skin is okay. I'm not, obviously, I don't know because I don't have it. But um, that's based essentially a dupe for the Benefit Professional, which is an amazing primer. I absolutely love it. Although it, the focal point is the pores, I really do love it for my oily skin. It's not a drugstore product, unfortunately, but it's a product that I would recommend if you're willing to spend that extra bit of money. And also the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer is also a really great primer for oily skin. So once you've found the primer that you want and the primer that works best for your skin, you want to use a foundation or a BB cream or a CC cream or whatever, you know, floats your boat but I personally like to use a foundation because I haven't found any BB or CC or any other type of cream that works for me so in terms of a foundation that I think is amazing is the L'Oreal True Match foundation they have an amazing color selection and in the UK they have this kind of new campaign going on where they have literally from the lightest to the darkest um, a really great color selection for a drugstore um, product and also another one that I would suggest you checking out. I haven't personally used it, but I've heard so many people talk about it. Like everybody I know that uses it loves it and they have one for every skin type and that is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. So that, like I said, they have one for oily and they also have one for, I think, dry and normal. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they have a foundation for every skin type and again they have a great color selection and it's a drugstore product so you're not spending like 20 30 40 pounds on a foundation so as a setting powder in order to set your makeup that again helps your makeup last just a lot longer and also if you have oily skin setting your face is basically an essential because you want to keep your face matte as long as possible unless you're going for like a dewy look um, so the one that I would recommend to you guys is the L'Oreal True Match Powder, which is an amazing powder. I really do like it. The one that I have, I believe, is the US packaging. I'm not sure what the packaging in is in Europe, but I'm I'm not sure if the colour range is as extensive as the US one. But the one that I have is amazing. It does an amazing job and it provides extra coverage. So if you have a foundation that 
doesn't provide the most coverage or if you're using a BB or a CC cream, you can also use a powder to kind of build up that coverage. Also the Maybelline Fit Me powder, I used to hate that powder, but now I absolutely love it. Again, I think it's like $6.99, so it's super cheap and they have a great color selection as well. So now that you have your face on, I forgot to mention brushes. So you're gonna need some decent brushes to apply your makeup. So I would recommend using the Real Techniques brushes. They are amazing. They are the brushes that I pretty much use every single day. Brushes can get super expensive. Like sometimes you can be spending 20, 30, maybe even 40 for makeup brushes or for just even one. And that's just crazy expensive. But the Real Technique brushes, there's a fly. <laughs> the Real Technique brushes are super soft and um, they're somewhat inexpensive. They're not the cheapest brushes I've ever seen. Like you could probably get some really cheap brushes off of Amazon or eBay, but if you want some really good quality brushes that will last you, I have had my Real Techniques brushes for probably like three years now, maybe going on four. I've had them for a super long time and they look and feel just as amazing as when I first bought them. Right, so now we've got the face makeup done and we've sorted out the brushes. Now we wanna go into cheeks. So I love blush, I am a blush lover, and the ones that I would recommend to everyone are sleek blushes. So they have the blush by threes, and then they also have the kind of single blushes. They have a really great color selection. And if you don't, if you're not a person that kind of collects makeup, but you just want, let's say, you know, kind of like obviously a starter kit, I would definitely recommend the blush by threes because they have three different blushes in there, which means it gives you variety and they're really small and compact. So you can use um, them if you travel or things like that. Um, but overall, I would definitely recommend these sleek blushes. So I'm gonna briefly touch on the bronzers and highlighters. I don't really have too many, I don't really use bronzer because I'm already bronze, <laughs> but um, I don't really have too many of those products that are drugstore, but in terms of if you want to find a contour, Sleek has a really great contour kit, which also comes with a highlighter that's actually very decent. Um, and that kit is like, I believe is $6.99, so it's super cheap. And you're getting a contour and you're getting a highlighter. And the contour is dark enough for everyone. So I think they have three shades, light, medium, and dark. And the dark one is actually dark. So if you are a chocolate person and you want a contour and you can't find anything that's dark enough to be a contour, I would definitely recommend trying the Sleek Contour Kit. Also, if you can't get your hands on Sleek, if you're not willing to pay international shipping, um, you can just find a powder that you really like and just get it in a super, super dark shade and you can use that as a contour or a bronzer. Um, and in terms of highlighter, like I said, Sleek has some really great highlighters. They have a, um, I can't remember what the highlighters are called, but it's basically kind of like a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks and they are really, really good as well. And I think they have maybe three or four different shades and they're under 10 pounds as well so if you're looking for some highlighters definitely try out some of these sleek i'm not sure what they're called block highlighters i don't know so now eyeshadow so i love me some eyeshadow as well um eyeshadow palettes can get super expensive like the naked palettes are like 40 pounds Too faced palettes are like 40 pounds they can get crazy expensive and um not everybody's willing to pay that much um so i would recommend again i feel like i'm a broken record but the sleek palettes are so 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 good Um, i have i think four or five they are 7.99 each and i believe they have 12 shades in each um palette the best palettes i have ever tried i love them so much it's pigmented they have a great color selection so there's different palettes they have a neutral palettes they have ones with like crazy colors they also come up with a bunch of limited edition palettes as well and they're so cheap and I absolutely love them and they come with a really decent sized mirror as well so I would definitely recommend sleek palettes so in terms of eyeliner and mascara I know not everybody uses eyeliner but there are so many different eyeliners out there from Maybelline to L'Oreal to elf which is super super cheap the one that I'm using now and I'm absolutely loving is like a L'Oreal I don't know what it's called but it's like a precise it's like a felt tip liner and it's so 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 good and i really really love it um elf again is super cheap as well and if you're also into gel liners there's maybelline um there's l'oreal there's sleek there's a, a ton of different brands so definitely find out which 
eyeliner you want to go for some people like to start off with felt tip because it's easier or a liquid and then once you start getting better at it you can kind of dive into the gel liners but um i'm gonna have in this video somewhere different eyeliners that i would recommend to you guys and in terms of mascara i think i've never actually tried any i just lie i have tried high-end mascaras but i haven't tried too many because i find that mascara expires pretty much like within like three months so the, i feel like there's no point spending like 30 pounds on a mascara that you have to throw away in a few months so i personally do stick to drugstore mascaras and i don't have a mascara that i swear by but i think that the brands that i would definitely recommend are maybelline and l'oreal those are the two brands that i would suggest and also rimmel but i typically would lean towards maybelline they have so many different mascaras so many that i can't even speak of right now um but yeah now the last category which is lips i feel like i've spoken for so long it's literally been 15 minutes <laughs> um so on to lips so lipsticks liquid lipsticks lip glosses there are so many out there for me personally i actually prefer liquid lipsticks because they're matte um and i prefer matte lips but if you like that glossy look go for it get you a gloss that's cute um but i would definitely recommend the nyx soft matte lip creams they are amazing i love them they're five pound fifty each so many different shades like whenever i go because they sell them in boots now so whenever i go on the site and i look at the different shades there's just so many shades to pick from you can always find a neutral in there um like a nude color that you like and if you're feeling a bit bold you can go for something like this this is actually the nyx soft matte lip cream in copenhagen which is amazing um so they have you know some safe colors and they also have some you know brighter you know reds purples and all of that good stuff um, also, Sleek has really great matte me lip creams, which are liquid lipsticks as well. Um, but if you're not into that and you want some lipsticks, honestly, drugstore lipsticks are amazing. There's Sleek, um, there's Milani. Milani has really great lipsticks and they have two different formulas. They have, I think, the cream and then they also have like the Milani mattes or something like that. So Milani has really good um lipsticks and you can get them from i think milani uk they have at their own site um and then also if you want lip liners not everybody rocks a lip liner but i personally do because i do have fuller lips and i feel like i have to have a lip liner on my lips because the lipstick will just look everywhere um but sleek has probably the best lip liners that i have come across i have tried nyx and i just find that they're not creamy enough but the sleek ones are super creamy and you can probably just use the um, sleek lip liners as just a regular lipstick because they're that creamy um, and they do the job. So I have been speaking for so long. I filmed two videos, or well, this is the third video that I filmed today. So I've been doing a lot of talking, but that is the end of this video. I hope you find it helpful. Ruchi, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Um, I hope you found this helpful um, and I hope someone out there can find this video useful i will have everything that i've mentioned um in the description box down below if you're interested there probably are tons of brands out there um but just find what works for your skin type and then you can work from that but i hope you have an amazing day and my instagram will be here so if you want to follow me for free and i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna go because i'm hungry and i've been talking for way too long <laughs> peace